everybody, it's Deja from CrochetEverAfter.com and right now what I'm going to show you is how to do the reverse single crochet. Sometimes this is also called the crab stitch and it can be a tricky stitch to learn from a book. So hopefully this tutorial will help you out. Let's get started. So to begin your reverse single crochets, what I have here is a couple rows of just normal single crochet. Now in normal single crochet, at the end of your row, you would turn your work and you would continue doing your rows from right to left. In reverse single crochet, it's of course in reverse. You will not turn your row at the end. I like this stitch for a, for a really neat edging because it creates a really cool texture. So let me show you what it actually looks like when you perform it. So I'm going to chain one, as I always do to start my height off. And then to work backwards, you're going to just twist your hook and kind of bring it almost to the edge of your stitch so that you can bring it in to the first stitch of your row, the last stitch you made of your previous row. Remember, we don't turn our work. So I stuck my hook through. Next, I'm going to yarn over or lay over and pull that through. And you notice that I keep that on the left side of my previous loop. I don't move it over to the other side. I keep it on that left side. Then I'm going to yarn over and just finish it off like a regular single crochet. I'm going to do the next stitch so you can kind of see how this is going to lay. So I go into my next stitch and you can hold on to your loop so you don't lose it as you insert your hook and yarn over and pull that through keep your loop on the left side sometimes it wants to hop over to the right side you want to keep it on the left side of your previous loop so that you get a nice um, reverse single crochet yarn over and pull that through so you can see what's happening is you're getting kind of a twisted stitch happening on top of your work. So you continue across, insert into the next stitch. You can hold on to that loop to keep it nice and steady so it doesn't fall off. Just remember to always keep the loop that you pull up on the left side. That's going to give you this texture that I'm getting from doing it. You can see this is that left loop that's laying on top and giving it a very cool texture as I work. So let me do a couple more here. Yarn over or more over layover. You don't want to like sit there and try to figure out how to go over. You're just laying it so that you can catch it with your hook. So just lay it and grab it. Pull that up. Keep it on the left side yarn over and pull through. I'm going to go all the way to the edge so you can kind of see how to work into a corner as if I was going to put an edging on this. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit. And I also, when I pull through to finish off the single crochet, I hold on to my loop so that they don't get, um, so that left loop doesn't accidentally pop over the right side because then I'm going to lose that cool texture that I'm getting from doing this stitch. It's also called a crab stitch. Not sure why. I don't know if this looks like crab feet or crab hands, but that's kind of what I usually end up calling it is the crab stitch. If you see in my nitty gritty washcloth pattern, which is free on my website, um, you can it actually has this edging and I think I call it the crab stitch in the pattern or the description one or the other. So I'm going to go all the way to my last stitch here and then I'm going to turn my work by doing three um, reverse single crochets in that stitch. So this can get a little bit tricky because it wants to compound on each other and make kind of a big muddled stitch so you need to make sure that you're getting past the first stitch and then the second stitch when you're making your third. And by doing three in one, 
you're going to create a turn and it's going to turn it nice for you and still get that good texture. If you're kind of just doing them really fast, they almost kind of build on top of each other because of how this thing is looped. So you have to make sure that you're pushing them kind of to the side and getting around each one on that corner. So as you can see, it creates this really cool texture and it's a lot thicker than a normal single crochet. So it's a really neat nubby kind of texture. You can see I did a whole edging on this whole thing and this is what I wanted to show you. This is kind of what can happen if you're not moving your stitches. It kind of just compounds on each other and doesn't look very nice as opposed to getting all your stitches around the edge um, in the correct manner. So you can see it's got a really neat looking texture and you can check out my pattern, the Nitty Gritty Washcloth to get, um, and it has this edging on it. And that's how you do reverse single crochet.